Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's Australia Day special, we're gonna check out some Aussie fragging equipment from Fragmate. All right, and thanks for joining me again on another special episode on Parker's Reef. Today being Australia Day, unfortunately the weather hasn't quite come to the party, so it's not exactly the ideal weather for uh, chucking a shrimp on the barbie, but I figured it is a perfect day to lift up my fragging equipment. As you know, I've recently started the journey on my new dream frag tank, and uh, whilst it's gonna be a little while till that's got water in it and all the equipment running, I did have a little bit of a look at my fragging equipment and realized that uh, I really needed to elevate that game as well. So I had a bit of a look around and I started seeing in Australia at least, very common names starting to come up called Fragmate. Doesn't get any more Aussie than that. So I had a bit of a look at their range and uh, the first thing I came across was their uh, basic fragging kit here and that was exactly what I was replacing. I'll show you my old one. This is what I had previously and um, whilst I've lost half the bits from it, <laughs> some of the gears started to get a bit rusty. It's, um, you know, it's small. Ironically, I was able to break down my previous six and a half year old reef tank. Um, I cut most of that down into frags, cut out some major colonies using uh, these little rusty cutters here and they got the job done. But I can tell you what, cutting through some of the big stag horns was an absolute challenge with some of these ones now. And as you can see, they're a bit rusty. You have to pry them apart again. Then you do a cut, pry them apart again. It's a fair pain, but it got the job done, but I figured once, <laughs> well, shutting down a tank once with them was more than enough. They've done their job. They're about uh, five or six years old. It was time to update my game. So I got onto the Fragmate website and had a look at what they had there. And the first thing I came across was this uh, reefing supplies kit here. And um, let me just open it up for you. It looks fairly standard in its um, setup. But the first thing I really love about it is that it's all this nice new black anodized gear. And um, it just looks sexy and it feels really nice in the hand. And it's so amazing to have something that's uh, not rusty. It's so nice and free moving. I really look forward to cutting through some corals with that. It's got the little uh, spring loader joint there in the middle, which you can pop apart if you wish. And you've got all the other bits and pieces in here. You've got the, um, you know, the standard sort of cutters there, a little bit smaller ones to go with the bigger ones. You've got these forceps, which I must admit I've never used before, but um, they could be handy when you're gluing things on the tiles. You don't want to get your fingers stuck to them. They'll get the job done there, like, like tongs, ironically, on Australia Day. <laughs> You've got some scissors, which um, might be handy for doing things like leathers or um, clove polyps or things like that. You'd be able to just cut straight through them there. Tweezers are always, always important, particularly doing zoas and things like that. And then of course you've got uh, your scalpel holder and your scalpel blades. That'll make sure you can get a nice cut through whatever sort of coral you're trying to get through there. Really good at uh, lifting zoas off a tile if you wanna cut through them to separate them first, then get the blade up underneath them to, uh, to lift them off the tile. Grab your forceps, pop them on another tile with a bit of glue, good to go. Now, speaking of glue, I figured while I was there, I may as well grab couple tubes of their glue. I must admit, I'm pretty uh, pretty stuck on the uh, sticky stuff from uh, Yellow Marine, but uh, I figured if I'm gonna grab a bunch of stuff from Fragmate and uh, make the shipping worthwhile, I may as well try some of their glue as well. So it looks like your fairly standard uh, thick cyanacrylate based um, fragging glue, which is all you really need, but uh, it should be good. It's always handy to have some fresh tubes about. These ones are the aluminum style tubes, so it should be really easy to squeeze out. You will have to be careful that you don't split the um, sides though. So if you've got big uh, bulky hands like I do, just give them a gentle squeeze. Uh, no need to go uh, bonkers on them. I should actually point out as well that in the, uh, in each packet, you actually get two lids. So if you do manage to block one up, you can take the whole thing off, pop a spare lid on. Nice little touch just to make sure that these tubes last the full length so you get every bit of glue out of there. Right, now I did mention that tweezers are cool and um, I lashed out and got three different sets of tweezers for this tank. I'll show you the first ones. These were the first ones I came across and I thought these were a massive pair of tweezers. I thought these would be awesome for uh, picking tiles up out of the frag tank, keeping my hands out of the tank. Also retrieving little bits and pieces in my dream reef tank that uh, either a snail bulldozes off or something and they disappear down under the rocks. These nice little uh, bent tip here is gonna make it easy to get in under rocks or around corners to get the frags out and I thought they were pretty cool. Then I came across this other pair that are on special which um, 
On a little bit of a sale at the moment, I couldn't help but uh, treat myself to these psychedelic ones here. I reckon they're going to look pretty cool under uh, the reef UV lights. I bet they'll be popular at uh, frag shows and things like that where you want to um, <laughs> really highlight your corals and uh, show, say, showcase some colours. But uh, whilst they're exactly the same length as the standard stainless ones, I thought these were kind of cool. And I'm also curious to see how this uh, coating holds up with the salt water. It feels almost feels like a sort of an epoxy coating, which I feel like it's going to be pretty hard wearing. It might just, um, even though these are obviously a high grade stainless steel, it feels like this will just bead the water off it um, and probably just make cleanup a bit easier, but we'll see how we go. I figured having a couple pair of tweezers and keep one at my dream roof tank, one over at the frag tank won't go astray because um, if you're like me with uh, tweezers and fragging gear, when you need it, you can never find it. So a couple pair won't hurt. And I thought that was crazy. I thought I'd lifted my tweezer game beyond necessary. And then I came across one more special little item. The mother of all tweezers. Let me just pop the uh, little uh, silicon grabber off the end there. Have a look at these bad boys. These are 60 centimeters long. They're massive. I'm going to be able to grab something from anywhere in that frag tank without having to put my hands in the water, which is massive, particularly when you're setting up a system. You don't want all the oils on your hand or sunscreen or whatever you've got on your hands. You don't want that getting in your reef system because it's a pretty small little closed ecosystem. Some gigantic tweezers like this are gonna allow me to get almost anything out of my frag tank and also a heap of stuff out of my pretty deep dream reef tank without even touching the water. These things weigh a fair bit. They're solid stainless steel, absolute beauties. When I saw them on the website for sale, I had to add them to the cart as well. And of course, when you're checking out fragging gear, you can't help but pick up a few uh, frag tiles. And the Fragmate website's got a range of different sizes, colors, styles, ranging up to some of these huge grow out natural sort of style tires, which would be really cool in the uh, frag tank. I look forward to putting like a little tile in the middle and then having these big ones underneath it. And then when Zoas or Montes or Acros or whatever it is encrust off it, take the middle one off and then you've still got the big base underneath, which will be pretty cool. You can then put a new fresh tile on top of that spot where the existing one was, let it grow back over and you've got easy fragging at your hands right there. But uh, probably my favorite product of all was this really simple little uh, frag table here. A number of times that I've gone to do some fragging and I like to do it outside, particularly just when doing things like zoas that have uh, that palytoxin in them and I don't want to get the uh, gases and, and vapor inside the house. I like to go do it outside and um, I'm forever looking for a little frag rack where I can just sit things in, whether it be a little tub to uh, have some water in to help uh, put a little bit of a coral dip on to help them heal up or just to help the glue set or just somewhere to hold the tiles while I'm trying to glue things on. And um, they've got this ridiculously simple $7 fold out little fragging table, which is so simple, but it's gonna do the job so well. It's gonna hold a bunch of frag tiles there. You can get to work gluing them on there. It's not clear acrylic, so you're not gonna worry if you get a little bit of glue or something on it, it doesn't matter. And it's seven bucks, the legs fold up, you pop it back in your drawer, it takes up no space at all. What a cool little clever idea. Last but not least is something that I've always admired. Whenever I see anyone use them, I'm always like, I've got to get a pair of them. So let me showcase them to you. I finally got myself some crescent coral cutters. These things make the little bone cutters look like toys. I uh, jokingly showed my local fish shop these and put my finger in it and he's like, do not do that. These things will cut a finger off. They are absolute beasts. I can just imagine how much easier it would have been cutting down that gigantic Dallas coral in my tank with something like this. It'll go around the entire stalk and it's got these nice little grippy bits there with a sharp bit on this side. It would have just cut through those so much easier than using uh, a little small cutter like this and then trying to cut a little edge of the uh, stalk of the um, staghorn and then hoping that that would then break it through. These bad boys are going to go all the way around it and you can actually undo the uh, clip in the middle if you need to but even with that connected look how wide that gets like Probably two of my thumbs would fit in there. Bang, it's gonna cut through it. Good long handle so you get lots of leverage. These boys are coral fragging beasts and um, they just feel really nice quality. Really nice heavy grade of stainless steel. The spring's solid. Little clip to hold them closed in, uh, in storage. Beautiful. All right, guys, there you have it. I just thought I'd show you through some of the supplies I picked up from Fragmate. If you're interested in some of their supplies, check out their website or their Facebook page. And also for any local fish stores out there watching, be sure to reach out as well because uh, Fragmate are looking to wholesale into retailers. So they wanna to talk to you about what they can do to make sure you can get the best quality fragging gear in Australia on your shelves for your customers. So reach out to Matt, he's a super nice dude. We've been chatting a fair bit about uh, his range of products and um, 
Have a chat to him, see what you can do to work out to get these quality items on your shelves and keep your customers sustainably fragging corals into the future. But uh, I will leave the video at that. If you have any questions, comments, feedback for myself or for the Fragmate team, feel free to pop it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this short, super simple video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And last but not least, if you wanna see more Australian reefing products, be sure to subscribe down that button in the bottom right hand corner. That will ensure you won't miss any future videos at all, guys. But till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Bye.